welcome to the Jurassic Coast. So, what we've got here, that's Bat Head, 98 meters high. And you've also got beaches of coastal erosion here. You've got the stack, which is here. You've got an archway here. And then you've got a cave. So how's it for this little sea that's coming in with the tide? And in the chalk, there's weaknesses in the rocks, in cracks in the joints. The waves come in. Hydronic action, as you see along here, it smashes into the chalk and exposes it. As it breaks away, or wears away through hydraulic action and abrasion, you will get a cave formed in the distance. That's Bat's hole. Bat's cave, sorry. Eventually that cave gets worn away from both sides by hydraulic action abrasion. You've got Bat's hole. It's where my finger is. As that arch is worn away, Bat's hole, that headline will come off and maybe part of it will stay up, it'll collapse, the arch will collapse and you'll have a stack which is this here, butter stack. It's got two comrades on top, which you can't see. And then by butter stack, there is further out a stump called the cow. Also, there is a wave cut platform just by the stack, by the butter stack, just over there. These waves, they come in hydraulic action and abrasion how the coastal headlines are formed especially on shore on the Jurassic Coast we've got here and then we've got all the way over here Turtle Tour in the distance which is a more resistant Portland rock mostly over there beautiful part of the world in Dorset